Okay, so the other day I was at Graceful Buys in Euless, Texas, and today I'm at Graceful Buys in Grapevine, Texas. Um, it's been probably a year since I've been here. I came on my birthday last year and I found some amazing chairs. Uh, if you maybe go back and watch that video, it's it's a good one. Um, but we're here uh, again today and we're gonna go in and see what we can find, so let's go. Oh, they've got a cute little outdoor display. All kinds of red, white, and blue stuff for the summer. Love it, love it. Sweet tea and Jesus. Really, that's all you need. That's all you need. Ooh la la. Lots of good summer dresses. Yeah, that's super cute. I like that. Okay, so over here so many clothes all the way to the back so this entire side of the store um is clothing and then over here is the house stuff so we'll go this way first that's a massive piece whoa i don't even think that would fit in my house oh my goodness look how cute they're so tiny these are really pretty. Morning glories on them. Hand painted. That's beautiful. How much are they asking for those? $16.99. It's actually really not bad. Oh my. Look at these pink chairs. Esther. You need these. You need these for your house, but <laughs> $119.99 a piece. So maybe that's real gold on the bottom. I don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, pillows. Lots of lamps. Lots and lots of lamps. Fancy, fancy lamps. They've got nice furniture in here. This is a neat little side table. $24 on that. I like, I like this part right here. The rounded sides. It's like it's got hips or something. <laughs> There's a fuzzy chair. Bet my Lucy would love laying on that. Okay, that would be it. More furniture. Some glassware over in the window. Maybe hard to video with that glare, but it's a bright, shiny day in Texas. This is pretty. The cut. Again, I don't know much about clear glass. I just don't, I don't know what I'm doing with clear glass. So, I'll just admire it. Actually, they opened the gate outside, so let's go peek outside. Remember, this is the place that has all of the stuff outside. This is where I found my chairs last summer. Uh, okay, so it's kind of like an outdoor flea market sort of thing. Got lots of stuff outside. Wow, that's a really pretty chair under that tarp. How cute is this? A Jeep bed, oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen the Jeep one. That's great. That's fantastic. Look at this chair over here, though, you guys. She's bougie. She's bougie. Look at that bougie chair. Oh, my goodness. I don't need it. But it's pretty. So, I guess we've had some rain over the last couple days, so I guess that's why the tarps are out. Um, I'll go over here and snip around. You never know what you can find. Last year, I got two bowling balls. So again, you never know. Good morning. All right. I'm not sure about these lamps. They're out in the elements. Will the electric still work? I don't know. 
I don't know. Anybody need a gas can? Golf? Tennis? Was that lacrosse? I don't know. I don't know my sports, but I think that is lacrosse. Oh my goodness. There's a big pile of athletic gear over here. Lots. All right. That's a, huh, that's a dry erase board that you can like open and close. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen one like that before. Lots of artwork. Okay, we'll come down here. See if anything jumps out. It's a neat old basket, but it's busted. Some some tools over there. Plastic bins. An owl with one eye. Toys, oh my goodness, look at all the Barbie. All the Barbie pink. Oh, nice. Barbie. Oh, it's a Barbie food truck. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty great. It's got a lava lamp in there. Okie doke. Not seeing anything, but that's all right. It's a pretty day. Just enjoying being out in the sunshine. That's a nice mirror. I have two like that at the house though that I don't know what to do with so adding a third may not be the best idea. Luggage. Bed frames. More kids stuff. Alright well I didn't find anything today. There might be something under that tarp though they haven't uncovered yet so we might have to come back out later but it's just like a furniture graveyard out here all right back inside let me readjust that sunshine was bright out there all right we got crafting things which if I allowed myself to dig in here, it could be very dangerous. I got so much of this at home. Vases. It's a sweet little, little pot. It has a thistle on it. Who are you? Made in England. I'm a sucker for cute teapot. FTD, Faultscraft. Okay, some bigger vases up there. Linens. Okay. They have a whole room full of books. And then, this is like office equipment. Records. CDs, artwork in here, that's, that's a neat, it's a, the streets of Paris, there's a sweet little stained glass. $14.99. Okay. 
much here. More clear glass. Crystal, okay, see this is labeled crystal. So maybe I can learn something. How do you know? How do you know if it's crystal? Now that is heavy, so maybe, I don't know. It's like, it doesn't have a marking on it or anything that says crystal. So that's why I'm like, how do you know? I don't know. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna stay in my lane. And my lane is not clear glass. in here a little they're dolphins playing with a beach ball So jewelry over here is a cute little tennis shoes. Oh, these are called Joy Bees shoes. Ruh -ruh. I may have to have some of these. Oh, look at this little bear. Peter Rabbit stuff. That's pretty. I don't know how those petals aren't broken. Oh, look at the little babies. Oh, my mama has this one. She's she's having a hard time. Okay. <laughs> These little babies are raising the roof. Are they supposed to be holding something? That's funny. Hey, hey. Saying hallelujah. Lots of pretty modern things, but nothing really vintage. That puppy looks sad. Why does that puppy look so sad? Don't be sad, puppy. $13.99. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna be sad because I'm gonna put you back. Boop. All right, so on the never ending quest for China, looking at the dishes in the bridal section. And uh, that's being sold as a set. So they don't have as many singles as the other place had. So I may just have to hit them up again another day. Well, I didn't find anything that I couldn't live without. Maybe need to go look in the clothes. See if there's some kind of treasure hanging out over there. There's some more dishes first, though. Let's check these out. Um, not really China. Just like daily wear. It's a nice pottery piece. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Well, we got to see a lot of really, really pretty things, but none of them are coming home with us today, and that's all right. 
because sometimes it's just the thrill of the hunt. You don't always have to bring something home. But I am glad that we stopped by Graceful Buys. Now we've been to both of them, the one in Euless and in Grapevine. And I may come back by in a couple of weeks and see if they get new stuff. But speaking of sweet tea and Jesus, <laughs> I'm running a little low on sweet tea right now. Uh, the Jesus part got covered. Uh, he's with me all the time. But sweet tea, I could use a little help. So I have stopped by an amazing place that I would like to share with you. It's a place called HTO. Okay, y'all, so this is a Texas thing. HTO, born in Texas, 2009. It is a place just to come and get deliciously refreshing iced tea. Now you can drive through, but I decided to come in to show you the inside because it's kind of neat in here. Things to keep your tea cool, things to drink your tea out of. And look at this. They got all these different kinds of flavored tea. So the Ryan Palmer, the Pink Lemonade, Sweet Almond Green, Unsweet Green, Texas Root Beer, uh-oh, Esther. Sweet Texas Chai, Turbo Citrus, Energy Drink. Okay, Sweet Zero, Sweet Mint, the mint is to die for. Unsweet, Sweet Watermelon, mmm. The Coconut, also delightful. I don't know that I've tried the blueberry. Georgia peach, oh my gosh. Of course, water, but come on. Uh, just regular, sweet coconut, sweet Georgia peach, sweet wild raspberry. Uh, I think these are more just repeats of what we just saw, but they are delicious. Delicious. So, I'm gonna get me. Um, Oh, you can even get fruit to go in your tea. Look at that. Ain't that fancy? That fancy. All right, and the cool thing is you can sample them before you decide. So I'm going to get a cup and sample some stuff. I'm curious about this sweet ginger peach. So here we go. Let's try this. Ginger and peach. Oh, my word. That is delicious. I could drink a whole cup of that. I could. I could. What was the other one I wanted to try, though? It's the blueberry. Wild strawberry. I mean, I know I'd love that. Um, maybe it was the blueberry. Let me find it. Sweet blueberry green. Okay. It's my usually like a black tea. I'm more of a black tea than a green tea girl. But I will try this sweet blueberry green. Ooh, it's very sweet. Oh, decisions, decisions. Which one should I get? The ginger peach or the blueberry? I don't know. Which one should I get? Oh, and don't even get me started about their ice. It's that yummy crushed ice, but it's filtered and it's so yummy and crunchy and delicious. Okay, I'm going for the sweet peach. But wait. I'm also going for the blueberry. It's a mixed drink. Okay, so this is probably the closest thing to a mixed drink that I will ever have. Um, but I do love my sweet tea. So it's blueberry, blueberry, and peach ginger. And I figured I would eat blueberries and peaches together in a fruit salad, so why not just put them together in my cup? It is, oh, it's delicious. And it's sweet, but some sweet tea is like oh, so sweet, but this is, it's just right, it's just right. So. If you find yourself in the North Texas area, find yourself an HTO. They're opening up all over the place now. It's kind of a new thing. I uh, highly recommend. Absolutely delicious. Maybe even just a little bit life-changing. I wonder if they have a website where you could order their tea. 
I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into that. But anyway, um, I'm gonna head on down the road and see where the road takes me. Uh, the, the day is young. And so I might find some more stuff. But for right now, I'm gonna end it here. And I'll see you next time. Bye.